Hello right here. So as I said earlier, this came to me pretty gunked up. And I wanted to do something on how I go about cleaning blades that are in this state. This kind of brown, sappy, sticky, stuck on residue like you can probably see it real good right here that typically from my understanding comes from old oil in the scabbard and a mixture of that and particles from wood and dust and it and it just does this over time if not taken out once in a while and cleaned and given new oil and from dealing with that before, I've learned that what seems to work well is a heavy, clean oil, like extra virgin olive oil. And I believe that extra virgin just means that it's been um, passed through like cheesecloth or filters quite a few times to get all the particulates out. And you put a dab on like I just did there and get a little baking soda and come in and let's get that real bad spot first and you just start rubbing it and it doesn't take too much elbow grease but it does take a little bit there to really get it you can see how much of that has come off on this already and you want to keep getting clean spots with your rag and keep daubing on clean baking soda might need to get this closer to the edge here carefully to really get on it And if you remember from the previous video, I did say that this edge is dull. That's not entirely true. About six to eight inches from the tip, it, it used to be sharpened. Um, it's, it's duller now. Now, this is, this is the work so far. Isn't that nice? There's a little bit of modeling. And... Uh, that, that can't be helped too much, except with buffing. But look how clean that comes. So I'm going to continue with this. Um, <laughs> you, you might see this sped up significantly. At this part here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll an edge of this paper up nice and tight like that. I'm actually going to pick up a little baking soda and I'm going to sprinkle it into and sort of sifted into there or uh, pushed around into the fuller and then just gotta be careful here because not really such a thing as too much oil or baking soda but don't want to make a big mess I'm going to press it into the fuller and I'm going to move it along 
the length of it with my fingertips. Now get the spine here. Mildly wet that just a little bit and turn it over like that push it up around the spine like this and pull forward find another clean spot pull forward go like that a few times and look at that Look how clean that is compared to the other side. And not a lot of effort, takes a little time, not a lot of effort, and I still got more to do. But I think what I'll do is besides saying that when you get to the tip, only push out, don't pull in. And when you get to the langettes, use something like a uh, pencil or a piece of copper or steel rod with something wrapped with cloth wrapped around it to get in there and kind of work it back and forth. But besides saying that, I'm gonna spare would-be viewers the, uh, the full thing and just skip to when I get to doing the handle.